M0FXB, you're going to try and explain the process for running the APK for your five, Anytone 578. So the APK you can download from Bridgecom and it looks like this. Now you need to run it with 10043 firmware Bluetooth. You need to run this via the APK before you add the other firmware for the Bluetooth, which is 1.06. So look here, it says 1043, okay? And within this file, at the top, you've got update tool, which is OTA. Just drag that anywhere onto your Android phone and then run it. You'll get a little app that you'll see in a minute. And then this, when we go 10043, this is the file you need to also drag into your phone so you can select it when you run this program that we're about to run. After that, then, then you'll be able to run this Bluetooth and APRS board, which is 1.06. And I think it's I'm pretty sure it's that SPI one there using your normal system with your CPS where you just go in, put the radio into firmware mode and you only put it in firmware mode when you're using the CPS on the computer by holding, turning off, hold down channel, P6, turn on and you're in um, Bluetooth update mode. But for the APK, we don't do that. So the APK, once you've got it on your phone, it will look like this. The file you would have just drag that in from your computer, the file I just showed you. So I'll just show you the process. Now you need to pair your phone with your radio in the normal way, go, just go uh, menu, go down to Bluetooth, Bluetooth on and go back, pairing, seek, and then you need to be seeking and turning on the Bluetooth here on your Android device and it will come up as ELE. Let's have a look what it comes up. Sorry, it's a bit bright. See if I can dim it down a bit. So once it shows, it will show up as an ELE. We'll show you in a sec. But on the radio, it's coming up as Galaxy 22, which is what this is. So at this point, you've got the APK like this. If we disconnect all together, tap the three dots, tap the bottom one. E this comes up, E-L-E-T-A-G-F, this sort of L-E-A, it might be different on yours, but that's what comes up. Tap it, it says host device on the radio. At this point you go Bluetooth, and it's a, this is when you now need to find that file. So you go my files, and then go to, on mine I think it was at downloads. And look, you select the B707 file, which is, I'll show you on the computer, which looks like that, that you dragged into your phone. And then you select it, and as soon as you select it, then you, I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it, you click upgrade and it sends and it will stay Bluetooth on here. And it will just send the whole file into your 578. And then when you turn the 578 on and off, you will have, go menu, go to settings, like so. Uh, device info, and go right to the bottom and your firmware will be, at this point, will be 1043. Just You just see it in there, 1043, right at the end. And once you've got 1043 in, then you're able to then run 106 on your CPS, which looks like this, BT APRS board 106, and you can run that in the normal way by putting the radio into firmware mode by or Bluetooth firmware mode by pushing the channel P6 and turning it on and it will go into Bluetooth firmware mode. I'll show you what that looks like. It looks like that. Once you're in that mode, then on your PC, you just go tools, firmware upgrade. You get this little symbol at the bottom here. Tap that, click yes, open file. Select the BHT106, click OK, and then write that to your radio. And then you would then have all the latest. If you go to settings, device info, scroll down to the bottom, you've got APRS106 and 1043 just above it. Bye for now, 73, all the best.